All right. Today, I'm going to talk about the role of ethnographers and uh, ethnographies. You know, we have a problem when we try to study cultures. Do you know what the problem is? The problem is that we all belong to at least one main culture and numerous subcultures. So how can we objectively understand and study different cultures? Subjective understanding is easy. Subjectively, we constantly are judging and evaluating um, other people and their values and behaviors and their smells based upon our own personal experience. It's much more difficult to put our personal feelings, preferences, and values aside in order to objectively evaluate and study another person's culture. Ethnography attempts to deal with this issue. Ethnographers are individuals conducting the ethnographic study. They come from any field of study, but most commonly are found in sociology, anthropology, and psychology because those are three fields that study human behavior and need a scientific way to do so. An ethnography is an objective inside look at a group of people. It often is referred to as participant observation because the ethnographer or field worker might live with the people or at least spend as much time as possible with them and take part in as many daily events and special ones as possible. By participating in the culture, they can get a better understanding than just by watching from the outside. The observation part comes from filtering the daily activities through one or more theory from their field. Okay, so they're filtering, filtering the activities uh, and attempting to apply some objectivity. Hofstede, and I believe that's how you pronounce it, said, the core of intercultural awareness is learning to separate observation from interpretation. It's such a natural process to observe something and make a conclusion slash interpretation about what we have observed. Think back to the images in module, the module one lesson. When you saw the pictures, your mind probably automatically applied an interpretation that fits your personal experience. For example, I grew up in a farming community, so I interpreted the first picture as the planting of seeds, and it never even occurred to me that it was a man attacking a woman violently. My interpretation of the second picture was a sales presentation. I would have said it was a teacher, except in my experience, classes are usually larger than that. However, my point is that I observed and interpreted at the same time. As ethnographers, we need to learn to separate the observation from the interpretation. Visiting students at their homes or in their communities was suggested in the reading of Mega Strategy 10 as a form of ethnographic study. I personally can vouch for the effectiveness of this strategy. Instead of keeping all the power in the relationship and making the student and student's relatives always come to you, it can be extremely helpful um, to the relationship if you surrender some of the power and visit them on their home turf. One of the things I like about Michelle Pfeiffer's character in the movie Dangerous Minds is that she did visit some of her students in their homes. However, there's an interesting point in the movie where a mother of two of her students explains that she's taking her sons out of school. She tells Michelle's character to find some other poor boys to save. So she wasn't very happy with Michelle visiting them and taking time out for them because she thought it was done from a, peer, a, a position of superiority. So even when we reach out with the right motives, if we're members of the majority population, we need to be sensitive to possible misinterpretations. In fact, it doesn't really matter what we do. We should realize that someone else will not always interpret what we do and say the same way that we mean it because of their experiences are going to filter the information that comes in through their senses. Okay. In module three, you'll get a taste of being an ethnographer. Although it will be 
a unique way of writing an ethnography, I admit. Um, at least it will introduce you to that, the process of separating observation from interpretation. An ethnography describes what is observed and attempts to interpret what is observed through the eyes of the cultural insider. So it's interpreted the way that that culture would interpret themselves instead of applying an outside viewpoint, an outside cultural interpretation, if that makes sense. So it's a challenge, but I think you'll be up to it. Thank you.